This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Jack Threads. Polishing up the apple for WWDC and getting ready for what might be a boatload of new software and hardware announcements, plus photos leak, allegedly, of the Google Nexus tablet coming to you just a couple weeks after WWDC. See, first Google announced their maps and WWDC, then Google's got more stuff. It's just, it's a sandwich. It's an apple ice cream sandwich sandwich with some jelly beans sprinkled on top. It's Rumor Roundup. Run them up, woohoo! What is going on, everybody, and welcome to the Rumor Roundup. It's Techno Buffalo on Revision 3. My name is Noah Kravitz, and this is your Rumor Roundup for the week ending today, June 8th, 2012. This past week, though, it was all about E3, so if you missed any of our E3 coverage, check out Joey's coverage, John's coverage, and you can even check out my recap of the Sony press conference. I'll tell you what, if you saw my video recap, you know. I'm not a hardcore gamer. I was like the uh, the TV newsman reading the news. Today in sports, the Metropolitans beat the Yankees. I was like that. I was like, Assassin's Creed 3 will feature shooting and running around. Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference kicks off Monday morning, 10 a.m. Pacific time from Moscone Center in San Francisco. We'll be bringing you coverage of the keynote address, all the goings on, the new announcements, everything, everything, everything we can on technobuffalo.com starting bright and early Monday morning. Lots of rumors flying around. Of course, rumors about the new iPhone. We're not expecting the next iPhone to be shown off at WWDC. That will most likely come during its own launch event later this summer with the launch scheduled for uh, September or October, but you never know what might happen. The latest rumors have an eight megapixel camera, much improved camera technology from Sony. Now there's some folks saying, nah, it's not gonna be a 3.95 inch screen. It's gonna be a 4.06 inch screen with even more pixels. As far as WWDC goes, Apple CEO Tim Cook expected to take the stage, deliver the keynote address. It's a developer's conference. Traditionally, we see new versions of software and that means iOS 6. A bunch of TBA to be announced sessions in the official program guide for WWDC. We're expecting iOS 6. We're expecting Siri for iPad we're hoping for, maybe expecting, a bunch of talk about a new Apple TV platform. We're expecting to hear a bunch more about Mountain Lion OS 10. We're expecting to hear a bunch about the newly revamped Maps app. Google had their own Maps press conference earlier this week, kind of preempting the expected announcement that Apple will be moving away from Google Maps and instead powering the Maps apps for iOS with their own technology featuring all sorts of whiz bang, 3D mapping technology, that kind of stuff. Big updates to Siri being rumored, uh, possibly taking Siri to a whole new place. Earlier this week, just a few days ago, our own Brandon Russell publishing an article on the site that starts, Christmas is coming early if you're an Apple fan or if you're uh, a financial person at Apple, apparently, because there'll be lots of new stuff to sell. Pretty much everything except the iPhone, uh, iPod Touch line, and the Mac Mini supposedly is being updated according to some leaked documents outed for the Australian market. No fewer than 27 new part numbers have been outed, including the rumored 15-inch MacBook Pro with a Retina display. New Mac Pros, the Mac Pro line has not seen a refresh in a long, long time. I don't even have my Mac Pro anymore. I had one on Len from my good friend Ewan. Mobile Industry Review, Ewan, what up? Did I just say, what up? Expect, you know, the world minus the Mac Mini, and uh, most likely minus any new iOS-based devices to be talked about, unveiled at WWDC this coming week. We'll be back in just a minute, but first a word from our friends at Jack Threads. Look, only suckers pay full price. That's why I wear free t-shirts given to me by tech companies. No, that's why if you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Stussy, Hurley, and others, but you hate spending all your cash on them, you should check out Jack Threads. You can score these premium brands and others at up to 80% off every day. There's a new invite only shopping club for guys and it's called Jack Threads. They serve up streetwear, surfwear, skatewear, at prices so low they will literally melt your brain or at least melt your hair off. There's a wait list to join, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash techno, jackthreads.com slash T-E-C-H-N-O right now, 
We'll get you hooked up. No must, no fuss, no waiting. Looking kind of like a bigger, badder Samsung Galaxy Note. Some photos have leaked of what is said to be the upcoming Google Asus Nexus tablet. Slated to be unveiled at the Google I.O. conference in San Francisco in just a few weeks time. I'll be there, I'll let you know. If I get it, I'll show it to you. Hold up, I'll be like, here it is, here's the tablet. The Nexus Tab is an NVIDIA Tegra 3 powered quad core, seven inch tablet said to be going on sale for $200. Imagine that, a quad core all touch screen computer that's portable with a front camera and a back camera and internet connectivity and all the touch screen stuff and the latest version of Android and all that for 200 bucks. That's crazy. When I was a kid, we had to walk 10 miles in the snow both ways just to get a touch screen computer. No, they didn't have touch screen computers back then. The Asus Nexus Tab will feature Android 4.1, which according to some reports is actually the newest version of Android codenamed Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean gonna be a 4.1 release instead of a 5.0, perhaps, due to carrier pressure as the result of some recent analytics saying that less than 10% of Android users actually have the latest version ice cream sandwich on their devices. The Nexus Tab is gonna be going head to head with the likes of Samsung's Galaxy Tab and also the Amazon Kindle Fire, the uh, Barnes and Noble Nook tablet, and the mythical Apple iPad mini, which actually doesn't exist, at least not yet. By the time you watch this video, who knows what might happen? Maybe Tim Cook's gonna be like, ah, I can't wait till WWC, seven inch iPad, $29, and you get a uh, big gulp for free, do it. All right, that's gonna do it for me. My name is Noah Kravitz. The website's Techno Buffalo. We're on Revision 3 three times a week. Until next time, my name's Noah. Thank you so much for watching. Have an excellent week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.